All right, checking in with Tyler Orton from Business in Vancouver. Good morning, Tyler. How are you? Hey, I'm doing well. Good to see you, Steve. Good to see you as well. And uh, not so good days for Fiat Chrysler. Uh, this is a very interesting story because uh, not only they have to offer buybacks to people, but they find a huge amount of money as well. Yeah. In, in fact, Steve, this is a record fine uh, that uh, U.S. safety regulators have issued. It's $105 million U.S. Now, uh, this is the largest fine since January when Honda was forced to pay $70 million U.S. It's really signaling that U.S. Uh, federal regulators, they want to really crack down on a lot of safety concerns. Now, Fiat Chrysler, uh, they're accused of mishandling 23 different recalls affecting 11 million vehicles. And part of this program that's going on now, uh, they're going to have to repurchase uh, 500,000 uh, Ram pickup trucks. These are most popular U uh, U.S. pickup trucks. And it it's going to be uh, pretty tough for a lot of uh, uh, consumers as well. The, what's going to happen though is that they have the offer to repurchase them back minus depreciation. So you're not exactly getting your full price for uh, whatever's coming back at you. Also, Fiat Chrysler, they're allowed to buy back these vehicles, fix them up, and put them back on the road again. So th there could be ongoing safety concerns, but uh, of course they are going to make sure that they are fixed and uh, ready for road condition before they are sold back. But really what we're seeing now with, with this record fine, with this crackdown, is that U.S. federal regulators are taking it very seriously. But at this mm -hmm. point, we haven't heard about any sort of uh, program going on in Canada uh, that affects the Fiat Chrysler vehicles. All right. Uh, we'll see what happens going forward with that. Uh, thanks, Tyler. Thank you. If you want more details, VIV.com.